Welcome to Jaja's African Hair Braiding. It's a story of a bustling Harlem salon featuring an eclectic group of West African hair braiders. We caught up with the stars. Jaja's African Hair Braiding, when I heard the title, when I learned of the play and read the script, I was, I immediately thought I need to be a part of promoting this show. I need to be a part of helping to bring this vibrant story, this vibrant community to life. And I just wanted to be a part of cultivating the audience that would come in, inviting this audience into our little tiny world of theater and see that this is for you as well. So you're gonna laugh for sure. It's a very funny play. It's very joyous. Um, there's gonna be tea that's spilled, tea that's sipped, uh, shade thrown, dance parties thrown. Um, it's just, it's a whole fiasco. And this play, it takes place over one like full day, which is a lot can happen in a braiding salon in one day. And you, and most people don't really get to experience that. Um, unless you're getting a very particular style, which we will model in this show. These women exist yes, in space, yes. in time. They are giving, loving women who are a part of this culture. Um, I mean, if you see a black woman with her hair braided, that woman who did her braids, I mean, it is, it is, it's ancestry. It's, it is a part of our lineage. Yes. And, um, I just hope that people begin to realize just how important they are. These are the people that make the city what it is. These are the people that keep us running. You know, when you see someone on the subway with a fabulous looking hair, this is a part of the world that they more than likely tapped into for that moment. I really hope that people also really meditate on the dignity of otherness, like quiet dignity of otherness. You know, the things we don't see, the fact that somebody can come into a braid shop and have their hair done, leave feeling fabulous. I mean, think about all the ways that people help us look our best yes. and how we kind of take it for granted. Mm -hmm. That quiet work, that quiet dignity. So I hope that it just asks people to be more measured in the way that, the ways in which they extend grace and humanity to other people. I hope also people leave with joy yes. and a sense of our resiliency yes. and the fact that comedy is the way that we've been able to get through quite a bit sure, yeah. and that these are three dimensional human beings. Yes.